Okay, and here the print is. This is a raw print. I did a minor, little tiny bit of sanding with some really, really fine 600 to 800 grit sandpaper. Here is the material I'm going to use for the cord and my favorite primer for resin prints. Look at that. It goes on so smooth. It's like glass. If you use some of the other primers, uh, the thicker ones, it's going to clog up really uh, fine prints like that. We're now using some Vallejo uh, copper and some bronze and just painting this on. I made a little stick with some tape on it to hold something like this to paint. Could have been tricky, but, you know, look around your shop. You'll find something, and I think that holds on to it really well. You can see this Vallejo paint, paint just really covers this model. This is one coat. I don't even give it another coat. Uh, I do let it dry a tiny bit and add some of the bronze on to give it more of a modeled appearance. You can just see the detail in this is crazy. And I figured I was printing one and painting one. Might as well do some more. So I did a couple more. Now I've just got some black uh, paint with some water and I'm just going and filling in and making sure all sort of cracks and crevices of the model uh, get black in them where, you know, where they would have wear, where dirt would deposit and stick. And I'm just putting that on with a brush, a little bit of black, a little bit of water, and then going through and rubbing some of it off with a, a clean cloth. Uh, you always got to make sure you don't take too much off or you pretty much defeat the purpose. Now we're going to clear coat it with some dupa color and add the string and you know this is again just some cheap string i got at walmart a while back and tied off it looks super sharp Thank you. 